Tom Heritage, Lieutenant, U.S. Naval Reserve. Uh, Richard O'Mara, RD3. Virgil Chambers, Raiderman, third class, United States Navy. Oh, greatest warship that ever existed. Her history was, was so great. She was in all the major campaigns. And she was a, a uh, you know that? Made the, she made uh, the landing. She was the uh, flagship command and communication yeah. ship at uh, Omaha Beach, uh, 1944. So. And, and I, you know, I see that History Channel and, and I see the landings and, and uh, every once in a while I'll catch a glimpse of the, of the Bayfield. And I think, well, who and was she, on that? And oh. she also was in the World War II, uh, uh, you know, very Korea. active there. And at the 1954, uh, when uh, the French Indochina War ended, she evacu evacuated all the people out of Haifang Harbor that wanted to go south. Mm -hmm. and so very much involved in everything that happened. Uh, great, great history. Great moved history. moved uh, from uh, the Atlantic Fleet in 19, well, the war ended in May 1945 and the Bayfield was immediately sent around uh, because the Japanese had not yet surrendered, so it got actually made landings in Okinawa. You got to, yeah. we, they called us, uh, I, I remember, uh, it was the, the Gator Navy, because we were the amphibious uh, yeah. uh, uh, assault. And that was the, the LPHs, the APAs, and so forth. And, that, LSTs. And, and LSTs, right. That was sort of, I talked to some guys in the Navy, and they said, oh, you were in the amphibs. You weren't in the real Navy. Uh, we, we, because they always used to say the real Navy was, the, the cruisers, the, the, the destroyers, the, destroyers, the uh, guided missile, uh, the frigates, and, and, and these, these war boats. Well, I, I'll tell you, the USS Bayfield was a war boat. Yeah. Okay, um, it didn't have, well, didn't have some of the kind of armament and the sleekness of, uh, of, a, uh, of a cruiser uh, or, or a destroyer, but it was, uh, it was a war boat. And you'll be better served on it. He served on a little boat, believe it or not. And I gave him a, a picture of the, it's in the Yogi Berry Museum now. Yeah.